Hi, I'm Piyush Patel, Managing Architect, Automation Practice, part of Red Hat Services. And I'm Chuck Douglas, Senior Consultant with the Americas Northeast. Today, we're here to talk about how Ansible can be used with day two operations. But before we get too deeply into that, we should probably define our terms. Piyush, can you explain what we mean by day zero, day one, and day two? Sure, Chuck. So day zero is our planning phase. This is where we verify our network topology we also decide on our service parameters and definitions, and also look at our resource capacity, initial as well as ongoing. Day one is our deployment phase. This is where we actually do the installation of our infrastructure, physical, virtual, as well as cloud. Upon deploying the infrastructure, we deploy our services based on the configuration and the parameters we define, as well as doing validation and verification that our services and infrastructure is running in an optimal condition. Day two is the phase after our services and infrastructure has been running stable for a while. Okay. Well, we know that Ansible is a great tool for planning our infrastructure, as well as day one, where we're actually deploying our infrastructure. But it can also be a great tool for day two, our operations. This can be things as simple as upgrades or configuration changes, but it's also good for scale up which would be increasing the number of services that we have available, or scaling down, decreasing those same services when they're no longer required. So let's consider an actual scenario. Think about a major sporting event or a musical event. This would be where you'd have a large number of people gathered, and would, with the number of people, you'd have a large number of devices such as smartphones that would be connecting either to the cellular or to the Wi-Fi. And you would need to make sure that you have enough capacity and services def uh, deployed so to support these large number of devices on the either the cellular or the wireless networks. You would need IP addresses and subnets to support this large number as well. Also, at such events, you'll see that there's a large number of data throughput that's been transferred in terms of images, media, and such. So to support that large amount of data throughput, you'd have to make sure your backend services that support your infrastructure are deployed in, in a fashion to support this higher demand. And these requirements would be only required for the, the event and can be scaled down once the event has ended. Likewise, let's consider a conference, for example. The needs of a conference has peaks and troughs. There will be a high demand for network services such as DHCP and DNS during things such as registration or even during major keynotes. And there will be lower times, such as in the evening sessions or during breaks, for example. Ansible is also a great tool for doing certain one-off setups, such as VPNs. We very often have vendors who need to be able to connect to their data centers or to lab environments to be able to provide appropriate demonstrations. Ansible can be used to set these things up at the beginning of the conference, and once the conference is ended, can quickly and easily take them down. If a customer has any questions about how Ansible can be used to meet their needs or provide solutions, what should they do? So we suggest that the customers go to redhat.com slash services, as well as reach out to their Red Hat account team for more information. 